Fatigue is the best pillow. I've been inspired by the Wes Watson YouTube channel. I think it's called GP Penitentiary. Get after it, motherfuckers. West Watson, West Watson, <clears throat> David Goggins, Dan Pena, mortals, human beings. Um, when I read that in the comment section, that fatigue is the best pillow. But in, on the West Watson channel. I'm not sure if they're recording West Watson or if it was someone <clears throat> who interpreted it that way, but I'll probably re review the video. So I like reviewing stuff that uh, that I learned from. Because I think that I'm Oversaturated with, with so much nastiness, man. And uh, you know, the year's twenty twenty, and I, I don't. I'll say that I, we, as a species, as a country, as a city, as a community, community. We don't act like we're in 2020. Effectively. <clears throat> and and lately, uh, <laughs> because I see uh, you know, things like people complaining about their your Starbucks stream or that it's it's freezing, freezing here in Los Angeles, freezing. Quoting other people, it's freezing. And that they need a hot macchiato or hot cocoa. Now and or um or or just um being in traffic or just observing traffic. Especially on the dog walk, man. Uh, people are... You know, I understand if you gotta go home and take a shit or a piss, but... You know, I just see people... <clears throat> We're driving like it's a... Uh, like, it's, like it's a race down the street. But they were there, like almost basically like parked, like a moving parking lot on, on a on a on a main street. Um, people dangerously parking to deliver some food. There's a, a couple, couple parts of the street where I don't jaywalk. Um, and it's not, it's not because of fear of getting a jaywalking ticket, but it's fear of, of um, knowing where. I think a one, two, three, and where one place there was a fatality, and the other place there was just se severe bodily harm. And me right now, <laughs> I heard uh, some uh, just just right 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 now. They said that there's tires screeching and that horn going off. And um, <clears throat> the rush. What's important? What's not important? What do we put value on? All these things have been um, 
been been on my mind lately. And you know, it it's a it's like a mental carousel, mental carousel, a mental maze where you know I stay busy work on my life goals you know pat my own self on the back um, hold myself accountable and knowing that uh, I was thinking about another video book video book video title library at home or a home study because I'm looking at a, remember I saw this uh, one house that I thought damn that's a big ass house <clears throat> front yard backyard I think it has a pool and I'm guessing, man, I'm pretty sure that that's that's a library right there. That's not a dining room or living room. Pretty sure, pretty sure that's a library or a study hall. And uh, and even though I don't have that a house or a house that's already that that I will leave for for my youngins or a classic car. Uh, that probably would have been a that would have been an amazing investment instead of a stupid rims or a big big stereo instead of a to get a collector's car because then you know if it's maintained nicely yeah you know I've seen someone someone hold a a <clears throat> I think it was like a 63 or 64 Impala convertible in storage, but in order for it for it to be so hard to steal, it's it's on the left, and then the left is cranked up, and then that and there's a car that's parked that's parked under it, so you can't even um, put the left down because the car is right under it. And uh, on top of that, it's it's locked. It's a locked garage behind a locked property. And the dude's just busy um, with life. Doesn't have time to uh, mess with it. Yeah, but, but seeing all this traffic, car accidents screeching, car screeching, people breaking, people double parking. People parking in the red, people double parking on the red, people double parking in the red, Parking in the red, parking on the driveway, parking on someone else's driveway, and then parking on the no parking side, and then what the fuck? But I stay busy even though there's no. Uh, No, <clears throat> not, none of that, uh, kids or wife. And I think lately I've been, um, I've been thinking about it more, not because, um, oh man, look, he has a kid, she has a kid, they have kids. He's married, she's married. No. Hell no. But um, when I think of uh, whenever I hit a, a mental wall, a psychological wall, I think, oh man, who, who taught me this? Uh, who taught me this? Uh, this way, this um, this way to overcome this wall, to push, to push through this wall. And I think of an amazing man or an amazing woman or an amazing man and woman <clears throat> that I know that are. Raising amazing kids. 
and I think, you know, that's, that's probably, that's probably such an awesome feeling. I remember reading one time, home is where you are welcome. And I didn't learn that. I didn't learn that uh, when I was being told, yeah, you just get a wife and then have a kid. So fuck the uh, the 50% uh, national average divorce rate. In California, I think it's 75%. And again, that doesn't include all include all the people that are unhappily married that only stay married for convenience or because of the kids <clears throat> and just seeing all these sorts of people these characters to me it has a, uh, a psychological effect mental effect thus a bodily effect And I've seen some people, sh you know, shut off, complete, completely shut off. Oh, you're having a problem? Okay, cool. Bye. Are oh, you having a problem? Keep talking. All right. Bye. <clears throat> I don't like negativity or thinking um, about dumb shit. And I will listen to your problem, but... If the problem is this and that, and then you say, or one says, you know, this is my situation. And I think these are the possible solutions. Executing this plan A, worst comes to worst, plan B, and should everything else fail, plan C. But I think, you know, plan A is um, the most logical thing. You know, that's good. And I'm not kidding right now. I heard a car accident. There's a car accident right now as I spoke. And I will be leaving now to go see if anyone needs some help. Out. <laughs>